Hello, hello, what's up everybody? I hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for stopping by to check out my video real quick. I'm gonna try to make this as fast as possible and I just wanted to share this because Restream has had a major update. I don't know when this happened. I wish somebody had told me about it because I tried Restream, I don't know how long ago. It was a pretty long time ago and uh, I was not impressed. I didn't hate it. I thought it was cool that you could use it to stream to multiple channels at one time and stuff. Um, that I liked, but it just didn't really impress me. It was like, it wasn't perfect, you know, of course, and it was new and, and stuff like that. I like pretty much started, I tried it when it was new. Now it's like a million times better than the last time I tried it, which could have been anywhere from one to three years ago. I don't remember when it came out. I know it's been a while since I tried it. Um, the other, actually, I think it was, I think it was yesterday. I tried it for no particular reason other than a friend had sent me a message and he asked me, he goes, why do you like Joycaster more than Restream? And I don't remember what my answer was. I think it was because I could see all the chats in one window on it. I think that was it. That was like the main reason I liked Joycaster so much is because you could see all the chats in one window. So if you're, if you're the one window would show you Twitch, YouTube and whatever that you could stream to. Um, but I didn't know that Restream does the same thing now. It's actually an app too, on computer. I'm not sure if they have a mobile one. Um, I downloaded it on PC. Uh, this is a chat app for PC. Uh, they might not have the mobile one. Anyways, as you see the in the picture here in the image, you can see it's kind of an example, but I'm gonna show you the chat window itself. Um, this is the actual chat window. This is what I have open on my screen. It's empty right now. I meant to keep it saved after my stream. I just ended my stream a little bit ago and it had a bunch of chat in it. Um, the cool thing about this is this is so this is the window and you can resize it you can change it there's a settings icon on it you can go in there you can change um, uh, I don't know. there's there's lots of options it's very basic looking when it when it's just the chat window by itself but you got the settings window opens up a new window and uh, it's there's just a bunch of different settings that you can uh, mess with which is pretty cool nothing super advanced nothing major uh, very cool stuff now in the top left hand corner this little uh, you can see here you click, this will show you how many viewers you have and where they're at. You click on this and it'll actually show you each of your channels that you're streaming to. Like right now I have Twitch, um, Beam, Mob Crush, and YouTube. And on each of these it'll show you how many viewers is on each website, which is pretty damn cool. You can also reply to individually each of these. You can reply strictly to Twitch and Beam. Actually this one is a little bit buggy for me right now. I think when I tried it yesterday, it did work where it only sent the chat to one of the the specific one like if I picked Twitch here it would send the message to Twitch but I think today it was it was sending messages to all of them no matter what I'm not sure it was really weird um, but whatever uh, so that's the the main chat window which is pretty cool and then um, for ooh, I had an example here all right so this is the cool thing about it too it'll actually send messages from your Twitch your YouTube whoever is typing at where like if somebody is on Twitch uh, it'll send the message they send to your Beam or YouTube. It sends all the chat messages to all the different channels, um, which is really neat. It's, uh, it allows everybody to be able to interact even if they're on a different website. Uh, this, is, this is the Beam chat window right here that I have on the bottom, uh, the blue one. <laughs> but uh, it... It, so it'll say my name, right? It has my name, but it, what it's doing is the bot is sending the message or whatever. And as you see, after my name is the actual person that typed the message. And those are messages from the different channel. If it was if it was a message from Beam, it wouldn't say my name first. It would just say the person that's there saying it. Um, so oh, that's that's pretty damn cool. And this is just this is all from the chat app. Um, you have to download the app. It's an actual client. You open it up, you know, on your computer. Um, so I, I just had to share that, man. I, uh, right now I'm really impressed. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I, when I saw that. I was like, whoa, because I'm tired. I hadn't tried Restream in a long time. I wish somebody had told me sooner. I don't know. I, I, I don't have a lot of friends that stream. I don't have a lot of friends that use Restream either. And I think I, the people that I do know probably were the same as me. We hadn't tried Restream in a long time because when it first came out, I was like, eh, you know, it was cool. I definitely loved the, the being able to stream to different websites, but it just wasn't, it was hard, you know, if you if you did it that way, you would have to have each browser open, each each streaming site, and it just was a lot of stuff, you know, nothing hard, but just a lot of crap that you had to keep open, uh, different tabs and all that stuff. And with this one chat window now, you literally can just keep it open, um, and all the chat, all of the, all the different messages from each channel will show up in this one box. It'll also have an icon 
from which channel they're typing from, unless there's a little bit of a bug between whichever website you're connecting to. Um, but yeah, it'll show you exactly where they're where they're chatting from, which is really neat. So for YouTube, it'll have a little heart next to their name, and Twitch, it'll have a little Twitch TV box. Beam has the circle icon and stuff. Um, yeah, it's I, I meant to save this. I didn't save it after stream. Anyways, uh, that's it, guys. That's it. A restream, definitely super cool. You can just connect each of your accounts to restream, and then you take your stream key as normal uh, from restream. You're just using the restream uh, stream key, and it'll stream automatically to each of the connected websites that you have. For me, I have, uh, like I saw, I showed you earlier, I have uh, Mob Crush, Twitch, uh, YouTube, and Beam. And I love Beam. Beam is actually my, my, one of my favorite sites ever. I, Beam is a really cool website. The latency is almost non-existent. I think Mob Crush is pretty good too, but it's newer. It's a much newer site, so that could be it. Beam is specifically supposed to have a really fast uh, connection between streamer and chat. Like, there's almost no delay. Like, you can just straight up chat. It's pretty damn cool. Um, I was going to say something else. I forget what the hell it was. Not very important. I did cover everything that, that you know, the, the basics of it, and it's really cool. Definitely worth checking out. Um, uh, yeah, like, as you, uh, it's any site. Like, I chose those four websites to stream to, but you can also do Hitbox and um, other streaming websites as well. So uh, check out Restream.io, the chat, the new chat app. Very freaking cool, man. I've used it for starting yesterday and I was using it today and so far I really love it there's also an option on there to enable text to voice which can get really spammy um, you know but it's fun it's a fun little option uh, you can do text to voice with that and you can actually choose like which um, you can actually choose a file an audio file that you want to add in there that does the voice I haven't done that there's two default ones from Windows and I use one of the default ones so <laughs> I haven't actually gone into add my own voice thing any and whatever anyways so restream.io that I'm really impressed right now, man. Super impressed. Freaking really cool. I, I was impressed by Joycaster when they had that one window that could show all the chats in one. Um, it's a little, this one's better. This one is, I mean, it's it's just better. It's <laughs> As a client, instead of having to have the multiple browsers open, even even with Joycaster, like I had, you know, it was a little bit buggy, so I didn't fully trust it. Um, very cool, though. Very uh, Joycaster became... Uh, something I forget they they merged with another company I forget the damn name of it <laughs> anyways I'll see you guys later thanks for joining me check out if you're streaming check out restream the new chat app very super cool man bye bye